today do not want to think about eternity, especially when they are young, because eternity seems so far away. That this world is currently spinning through space, and it is on a collision course with God's final judgment. And every one of us here today need to do some serious soul searching. Jesus never sugar-coated the message. Jesus never kept the hard part in fine print where we couldn't locate it. There are souls who have procrastinated towards Christ, and they have procrastinated their very souls into hell. If you are to be saved, you must believe in Christ now, today, while the offer is being presented. And there are no fig leaves from which we can hide behind. As we stand naked before God under the searchlight of the Word of God, all things are open and laid bare. The sword of the Lord is unsheathed, and the listener is stripped naked and completely exposed before God. And he sees himself as he truly is. God is more concerned about who you are than what you do. God is more concerned about your character than your career. God send me because I know your will is holy and your plans are holy for my life. Every decision you will make for my life is perfect. We should be equally shocked in our day for those who abandon the gospel of grace. The gospel is God himself and it is the chief cornerstone of the church. It is upon this rock that he will build his church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. He is the King of kings, and He is the Lord of lords. And at the end of this age, He will bolt out of heaven on a white steed, and His garments are dripped in blood, the blood of His own enemies, and He is coming back to conquer and to damn. You need to make terms of peace with this coming King, or you will be subjected in damnation forever. And Jesus Christ has made terms of peace. He will agree to terms of surrender. He will agree to terms of peace, but they are His terms of peace, not ours. For those of you who do not know Jesus Christ, God has brought you here tonight for this divine appointment, for you to hear of what your future holds if you continue to go down this path. God has brought you here to speak the truth to you. And if you are not yet saved, I call upon you to come to faith in Jesus Christ. 